Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be suede lining these T6 door cards along with some other parts in the cab area, some of the lower dash. Let's get started. So we've got the door card off and what we're going to do is look to remove the um, pocket inserts. Uh, sadly the actual uh, speaker cover part uh, doesn't come off but the handle and the top grey section so the darker grey section at the top they do remove plastic welds now they are all the way around the pocket along with a few of these um, type of plastic welds so we're going to have to actually grind them off and remove them um, process is pretty brutal looking so I've been using a drill um, with a 12.5 mil head which I found just rests on the top of these so you can just lightly remove the, the plastic weld part itself um, and then with a trim tool um, you can actually push it through uh, and then go underneath obviously and just gently prise them apart uh, yeah so we need to look at doing that all the way round uh, and once we've done that we can look at removing this top black plastic panel uh, which we're going to leave this colour actually uh, when we put it back together most of this one is now removed uh, working my way round don't remove the locator pins um, there are several uh, that's just two um, they obviously help you locate it when you need to put it back together right once this piece has been completely sorted I believe there's one bit round here. Remove it and put it to one side. Okay, so now we're going to look at removing the top grey panel, um, which is the part obviously on the top where you put your arm. To do this, it's a little bit different to um, the other parts, so we're not going to remove the tops of the plastic welds or anything or grind anything away. What we're going to do is simply heat up the old spot welds. Uh, and then using our trim tool is just gently prise them away from the top plastics because we want to be able to reuse the holes to allow the glue and everything to sit when we attach it back together. So now that everything's removed, um, we can look at actually cleaning these panels. Before we cover them in suede. Once you've done all that and you're happy, it's time to give them a really, really good clean um, to enable the glue to adhere to the surface. Um, so, what you want to be using is a non-silicon based product, um, something that is, I suppose, relatively aggressive um, because what you don't want is dirty patches because the glue is going to stick to the dirt and then obviously the dirt's going to lift from the door card and then you'll get saggy patches and you don't want that. Right, so we've got um, our doors all clean. Um, we've got the suede. Um, this subsequently is from um, Harrison Trim Supply. I'll put a link in the description below. Some of the harder areas, when I say harder areas, some of these little recesses and stuff, we're gonna use um, an impact adhesive. Um, let me show you. This one, Evo Stick. Um, you just put it on with a paintbrush. Um, what I'm going to do is just do that now and then let it dry off a little bit. It just helps the, the suede stick better into some of the nooks and crannies. This stuff smells pretty strong, 
so if you are working with it in an area where there isn't much airflow, um, put a mask on and you give yourself a headache. Alright, last little bit. Right, wicked. I'm just going to let that tack off um, and then we're going to start the suede. We're going to start just in this middle section um, so we can keep the suede where we want it to sit. So I'm having to do a um, voiceover for this part. The noise in the shop at the time was just too overwhelming really, too much banging and clashing going on in the background. Um, so I'm spraying um, both areas, both sides, so the door card and the backing of the suede. Um, this gives you a really good um, grip with the glue. Um, it's a contact adhesive, you need to spray both surface areas. Right, so as I said before, I'm starting in the middle, um, on the flattest area really, so it's the speaker box surround. Um, so I'm just going to manipulate it into some of the grooves using my fingers. I do use a tool at times, um, working with suede, you have to be careful, it does mark quite easily with a tool uh, if you put too much pressure on it. So I'm just continuing to work the suede into the areas, um, working slowly a little bit at a time. Uh, there's no need to rush. Um, if you make a mistake, it will, as you see, it will, it will pull off. Just be gentle. Um, what you might find if you pull it too often in the same area that the glue actually comes off on the suede and there's no glue left on the door card. Um, so you'll need to just re-glue both surfaces for that. Now the suede itself is quite stretchy, um, but what you see, what you might see me do, um, hello mate, <laughs> what you might see me do is um, add a relief cut here and there, um, just to allow the suede to stretch. It's really stretchy one way, um, the other way it's not quite so stretchy. Um, if you've got a bit of suede in your hand whilst you're watching this video, or you're about to suede while you're watching this video, you'll see for yourself. Uh, it stretches really well one way, but not the other. You can see now that the door card is really starting to shape, take shape. Um, I'm working on the sides now. Um, so I've done the surface area, the main surface area. Hello, mate. I've done the main surface area, and I'm now working on the sides. Again, um, you're going to need to pull and stretch and pull and tweak and stretch until you get it right around the corners. What I'm doing now is to begin to trim the excess off. Now, sadly, you can't just line the whole thing uh, and try and put it back together because the other panels won't fit back on the door. Um, so you need to remove some of the actual suede that goes up and around the handle, especially around the top half of the door card. Right, I'll bring you in here. Um, now it's about just working your way round really slowly and trying to get it in at all the little areas and then you can see you're tucking and folding it around little corners the little handle comes in here and again any of these seams use a finger you'll see me use a tool um, that's because I'm a little bit more experienced these days but use your finger to make sure you work it right in the gaps and then make your way around the edges which is what we're doing now so I'm going to flip it over um, I'm going to glue both sides again contact adhesive so both bits of surfaces need to be glued so the suede and the plastic all right once you're finished on the top side and you're happy and you've worked it all around the edges it's now time to flip it over. Uh, you'll see that I've actually laid it on a bit of carpet. Um, this is our workbench. Uh, this is where I do most of my carpet lining and building bits and stuff like that. So the table itself is all scratched up and marked and got glue all over it. Uh, what you don't want to do is get glue on the suede. Um, if you do subsequently get glue on the suede, don't panic, let it dry. It's easier to get it off when it's dry. Right, so what we're going to do now is just spray around the edges and then we're going to fold over and trim off any excess. 
Right, so we're happy with that. Um, what we're going to do now is go around and all the plastic welds that we drilled out and got rid of to begin with, we're now just going to fill with um, the hot glue gun using a plastic plastic bottle. Right. I would recommend doing a couple at a time then applying a bit of pressure just so you get a good uh, fixing, good seating point for the actual backing plates and stuff like that. Right, I'm going to work my way all the way around. Uh, I'm not going to film the whole entire process because you will probably get a little bit bored, but I'll show you when I've finished. Right, the pocket's on. Now all I've got to do is just put this panel back on. So I'm just going to add some dabs of hot glue on everything that's facing upwards and then I'm going to dab some glue on everything that's facing downwards on that piece so that I can just slide it on and then hold it in place for a little bit. Should work. Right, the, um, the top part of the door panel fitted on really nicely um, and it's all back together and it's back on the van. And that's it guys, thanks for watching. In the next video, I'm gonna be fitting some power folding mirrors to this T6. So make sure you check that out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon and follow the channel. Cheers, see you soon.